All right, guys, what's going on? It's your boy, C. Bay the Root, a.k.a. the Coast of Kangaroo. And today we're going to be talking about my 2020 season predictions for Six Flags. I know a lot of people are putting out their predictions. The end of August is usually when parks start making their announcements. And uh, I know that I want to get mine out there before it's too late. So we're going to go uh, alphabetically. So we're going to start with Six Flags America, and I'm going to be predicting a Zamperla Giant Discovery for this park. They recently removed their Sky Coaster Daredevil Dive, and I think it would be the perfect plot for a Giant Discovery. I mean, there's not too much you can really plan in that area, and Six Flags has been building up this park's flat ride collection, which was non-existent about a couple of years ago, so good for them. Next up, we have Six Flags Darien Lake, and this one could really go anyway. It's probably the biggest question mark. Uh, Six Flags recently reacquired this park, so we could see Six Flags want to go in a direction of building it up like they've been doing with the likes of Fiesta Texas, Discovery Kingdom, Great America, or we could see them try to stay on the smaller side like they've been doing with America, St. Louis, Laron. Who knows? I'm going to stay optimistic, though. I think they're going to get a... Giant Discovery as well. Six Flags has really been liking putting these in. They put in three last year. By last year, I mean this year. I'm going to say that a lot. Yeah, I, I'm optimistic. I think we can start seeing some theming coming to this park. I would like to see the theming come to this park as well. So I think um, that could work out nicely. I think naming it after a DC character and then uh, also retheming Superman, uh, the Rite of Steel back to Superman because... That's what a lot of people are expecting, and I really, really want it to happen as well. So, yeah, I think we're going to see a Frisbee, just because I want to see this park grow. Next, we have Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. This park has been having a lot of thrill rides, a lot of coasters go in, and I think it's time for them to take an off year. I think they're going to get some family rides, just so uh, they'll have something new to give to the kids, because they haven't really add anything new to their kids section in a while so yeah I can see them because they've been doing a lot of DC themed rides in their area uh, I think that they're gonna they could uh, retheme this uh, section of the park the kids section of the park to the DC theme as well um, that's just an extra thought but I do think that it's time for them to take a smaller year and get some family rides Next up, we have Six Flags Fiesta Texas, and just like Six Flags Discovery Kingdom, this park has been on a spree of buying a lot of major investments with the likes of Wonder Woman, their Raptor Coaster, and their new Frisbee uh, Joker, which I don't think is running yet. I think they're testing it as I speak. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that. But I think uh, they're going to be taking an off year as well. I think they're going to be getting some family rides because they haven't added a, a family ride in a while. They've been focusing a lot on the thrills. Even with their water park, they added a water coaster. So, yeah, I think it's time that they take it down a notch. Frontier City is the other newest acquisition by Six Flags. Um, this one is one that I compare a lot to Great Escape being that they're both small, they're not unbranded, and they have a lot of old relocated rides. I think this park deserves something new to bring in some update to this park because otherwise this park, it's got a lot of charm, yeah, but a lot of the rides and assets are really outdated. I think it's time this park comes up in a more futuristic age. Not losing the charm, but you know bringing in some new rides that would fit nicely in the park. And while a lot of people are calling for that Sky Screamer, I'm, I'm going to go out on the limb and say that they're going to get a Zamperla Giant Endeavor or something smaller. I don't think they're going to go really big with this park. Like, again, like, say, Great Escape. They do add uh, bigger things to this park or a Great Escape sometimes, but very rarely. They usually try to stick to the smaller rides. At Great Adventure, I think everybody is expecting a launch coaster. A lot of people have been calling for a dueling launch coaster by Premier Rides. I personally don't think it'll be dueling. I think that they're just going to have a regular Premier Rides launch coaster, similar to, uh, say, Full Throttle or something like that. But, you know, with a unique layout and everything. 
the thing with this park is, yes, they definitely need a launch coaster because King Dakar is not cutting it as far as being mostly a GP magnet, but they need a launch coaster that's more accessible to everyone, that's not so focused on intensity and speed and height and just be focused more on the elements. A lot of people wanted it to be an RMC coaster, but I just don't see an RMC coaster working out for this park just yet. Not until they release something like the T-Rexes. So I'm just going to go with the consensus of a launch coaster instead. Next we have Six Flags Great America. And for this park, I think that this park has been on a huge expansion spree like Six Flags Fiesta Texas. They've gotten three great coasters back to back basically, as well as a super loop. Uh, being the world's tallest super loop at the time and I think it's time that they take a chill pill last uh, time I predicted this park would get a water coaster which a lot of people also were calling for it was either split between whether it be like an RMC Raptor or a water coaster that goes in here but they surprised all of us and went with Max Force they went with an SNS Air launch so I think uh, Max Force was a brilliant decision I like it I do think this park needed a launch coaster and this one definitely fit the bill. But I do think that they should have went the water park route instead. So I'm going to go with the water rides this time as well. Next we have Great Escape. And this park, oh boy, this park needs a lot of help. Unfortunately, I don't think Six Flags is going to be the one to give it the help that it needs. I think they're going to give them a flat ride since they've been really working on the water park. They rebranded it this year with the Hurricane Harbor name. And a lot of people are thinking they're probably going to stick with that. But it seems their plan with Great Escape has always been uh, every two years they alternate between dry park and water park. And so I think this time around they're probably going to add something like a Zimperl Endeavor. I don't know if they have anything like the original Enterprise here at this park. But, uh, if they wanted something new and, uh, not something too expensive, they can go with a Zen Pearl Endeavor, because this park already has a Super Loop and a Drop Tower, so, you know, something cheap would work at this park, it would probably be that. Next up is LaRonde, and this one is the biggest rumor going around right now, is that Magic Mountain is going to be sending Green Lantern to this park. I personally don't see it not that I don't see it but I don't feel it I know that this park is due for a coaster and this coaster would technically fit in their lineup but I think an SNS 40 free spin would work better it's newer it's more reliable Six Flags have been putting it in parts that they own and I just would rather them have a brand new 40 free spin than have the Zack spin that's been plaguing Magic Mountain all these years I know that Zack Spence aren't all inherently bad, that's just one that was really bad. But I don't think fixing this one is worth doing when you could put a 40 free spin in. I think I just think Laurent deserves a little bit better than a, another relocated ride. And at Six Flags Magic Mount, we have the biggest joke of all West Coast racers. Yeah, I know this ride is being a huge pain to get up. I know it's not exactly Magic Mountain's fault. There's been a lot of uh, reasons why the Spark has delayed this ride. So I'm not going to really fault this. But that kind of does default them on opening something big this year. I feel like with, um, with that whole preparation, opening that coaster and everything, that they're not going to focus too much on something else big to add to the park until they got the kinks worked out for that. Because they haven't even started testing. I don't even know if the coaster is finished at this point. So what I think they're going to go with is a family ride package. Now, I know people are calling for the Sky Screamer. And while that would be great and all, I just don't see it given that West Coast Racers is still being uh, built up right now. Uh, the other reason is because... Uh, yes, Magic Mountain is more focused on thrills than it is families, but there's a nice variety of family rides at this park. Uh, and they have a Whistle Stop Park section of the park that seems kind of dry to me. I feel like they really need to revamp this section, maybe retheme it to the DC characters, and give it a couple new rides, and uh, bam, it's actually back in action as a good place to take your kids. Uh, aside from, you know, the Looney Tunes section. 
because Whistle Stop Park, as far as I've seen it, a lot of stuff at Magic Mountain seems like it's going to be taken out soon enough anyways. I think this one's going to go on a chopping block uh, eventually, so I think um, fixing that up now would really do some good for it. Next up, we have Six Flags Mexico, and I'm predicting that they're going to get a larger flat ride. Now, when I say larger flat ride, I mean one of two things. They could go with a Zamperla uh, Giant Frisbee, which would probably be the one that everybody wants at this park, or they go for something smaller like uh, a Super Looper Endeavor. I personally am going for the Super Loop since they don't have one, I don't think. Uh, anywhere at the park or in the area. I know it's kind of cheap and nobody really likes these things popping up everywhere, but Six Flags doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon. And Mexico isn't one of the top priority parks. They've been really building it up lately, but that doesn't mean that they really want to, you know, throw this park under some sort of fire to light them up and really build it up. I feel like they're going to take it a little bit slower just because the market in uh, in their area isn't as needed uh, to be built up as, uh, say, parks like Magic Mountain or Discovery Kingdom or Fiesta Texas that's trying to directly compete with more higher-up parks. Next, we have Six Flags New England, and this park, I believe, is going to get the same thing that I predicted last time, which is some water rides. I don't think they're going to be taking that uh, 150-year celebration to give them a new coaster, like so many people said. I don't think that's going to happen simply because I haven't seen anything warrant that to happen. This park could pull a Great America, though, and surprise me and be like, Ha ha, you thought it, and give them a coaster like the, like a Max Force coaster like everybody's been saying. I would love for a coaster like that to come to this park. I just don't think this year is going to be the year for that. I think um, New England is on a downward slope for now, just chilling out before they build up to the climax of a new coaster. I feel like they're just going to go kind of like Cedar Point. Both of them are celebrating their 150-year anniversary in 2020 so I think they're gonna focus more on park celebrations than they are with a brand new coaster. I predict Six Flags Over Georgia will also be getting water rides. This park has gotten uh, Twisted Cyclone and a Jim Zamperla Giant Discovery in Pandemonium. This park is definitely on an up and up. That being said I think it's time for them to go ahead and get that water park edition. They haven't had one in a while, and even though they've been on a thrill kick for a while, I know that a water park addition for this park is definitely needed. It's definitely in a part of the uh, United States that warrants more water rides given its heat and everything, so yeah. Next up we have Six Flags Over Texas. And like New England and over Georgia, I predicted water rides for this park last year. And while I want to do it this year as well, I think the water park uh, itself, given that it's separated from uh, the dry park at this park, I think that they're going to try to go with a replacement to their water ride, Aquaman, which closed this year. I think they're going to replace it with that Mac Power Splash that everybody's been calling for. Simply because apparently they already have it in play and they don't want to waste it. And I think, again, like over Georgia, over Texas is definitely in a location where water park or um, where water rides really benefit it. And I think a power splash would benefit it well, given that it is an exciting water ride and it's a coaster credit at the same time. So. Yeah, it's not the ideal coaster credit for this park. This park, I think, needs a more standout coaster credit. But I think it would be a nice, fun ride for a park that otherwise has kind of lost its originality. I think this would bring some originality to this park, considering it'd be the only park in the chain to have a power splash. And finally, we have Six Flags St. Louis. Now, this one is a big question mark. Again, Six Flags has been really... Uh, neglecting St. Louis in the recent years. Uh, yeah, they've given this park like 
the new flat rides like the Sky Screamer and everything, they've been giving them these new rides to the chains first. But aside from that, they haven't had a new coaster in a long time. And a lot of people are really, really calling for a new coaster. They've been saying everything from RMC Boss, which is probably never going to happen at this point, an RMC Raptor or a 40 Free Spin. I'm personally going to go with an RMC Raptor for this park simply because uh, this park definitely needs an iconic, or even if it's not iconic because it's a cloned Raptor, like the Railblazer Wonder Woman clone, I think a RMC Raptor would still suffice given that it's low capacity, this park isn't very high demanding on the capacity, and it would offer a brand new state of the art standout ride for this park, which the park desperately needs. I think it would benefit more than a 40 free spin actually. So yeah, that's going to be my predictions for Six Flags 2020. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Leave a like if you thought the video was good and subscribe if you haven't already to see what I have going on on the channel after this. With that out of the way, I'll see you guys next time. This is your boy C Bay the Roo and I'm signing out. Peace guys.